Namaste. My name is Dr. Suhas Kshirsagar and I am the director of Ayurvedic Healing and an advisor for Kerala Ayurveda Academy. When we teach Ayurveda with Kerala Ayurveda Academy and in our program of Ayurvedic Wellness Counselor, one of the most interesting topics that we talk about is about food and diet and the Ayurvedic concept of food and diet. And this is very unique because diet is defined as something what you take in from any field of perception, from any mode of intellect that is diet. So what it simply means that when you are looking at your food or the plate what you are eating, there is one fifth of your diet. You take in what you touch, what you smell, what you feel, what you hear, what you think. Everything goes in and becomes a part of your nutrition. So from an Ayurvedic understanding, it is very, very important how we are able to process and look at our habits of eating junk foods and generating junk thoughts. Because both of those are going to create toxicity in our system that will be creating an imbalance within the functioning of the doshas and very soon it will assume a structural impact on the physical functioning of the body as such. We have learned through the quantum medicine that a happy thought will generate a happy molecule, an unhappy thought will generate an unhappy molecule, a junk thought will generate a junk molecule. It's very, very simple. And Ayurveda is a very materialistic kind of a Veda. It is very forgiving. And it is understanding that the human nature, sometimes we all go through the space phases of, of eating good or bad foods or having good or bad thoughts. But our mindful awareness that we can minimize these things. Whenever you are trying to put something in your mouth, if you ask one very basic question, is this good for me? Is this is something made by God or made in nature, which does not really contain itself away from its root source? Does it contain prana? Does it have life? Is it valuable? Or am I just eating because I am craving for this food? And by just having this mindful awareness, if you are going to minimize the intake of these junk foods, the, the worst aspect about these foods, they are devoid of nutrition. They are dead foods. They are leftover, they are putrid, they are stale, and they create uh, almost imbalances within the innate intelligence structure of the body because of all the additives, preservatives, colors in the food itself. So when you are minimizing from uh, 100 to 80 to 70 to 50 or maybe 10% of really bad food you are eating, by just that awareness you are actually purifying your system. And the same with your thoughts. Our thoughts are constantly generated. We generate somewhere close to 50 to 60,000 thoughts every day. And the scary thing is that about 95% of the same thoughts what we had yesterday. So if we start looking at our thought generation and we are able to regulate the process where we create a positive outlook, we are optimistic towards life and we are generating positive thoughts. And there's a wonderful Vedic quotation which talks about how you can talk and create a positive attitude towards life because all of that is going to boost your immune system is regulating your endocrine functioning is going to create almost a connection which is of your mind body and spirit all in aligned and the important aspect about these good thoughts and good attitude is not only it creates a perfect atmosphere within you but it changes the environment around you you attract all the goodness you attract all the abundance in your life so just for the selfish reason of bringing everything good back into your life you need to clean your food your eating habits and how you nourish yourself with your thoughts. So I think from an Ayurvedic and yogic angle, we have given a lot of importance that how you slowly train yourself. It's very human to have this, but the key is to be aware of it and slowly change. And once you start noticing how you feel within yourself, you will, you will be selecting these things in a very spontaneous manner. And once you start liking things which are good for you, that is 
half enlightenment. That is the journey which has begun for an enlightened journey for your health, evolution and higher states of awareness and consciousness. Thank you.